Well, the group, the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, now changing its name, calling itself the Islamic State. It claims to be in control of several parts of Iraq and Syria, and as it pushes forward, the ethnic Kurdish group in Iraq says they feel threatened. As Al Jazeera's Jane Yehoda reports, the Kurds are now imposing new restrictions at all border crossings, hoping to fend off the armed group. There is no mistaking who is in charge here. The self-declared Islamic State, which has been fighting as part of a wider rebellion in Iraq for weeks, guards the gates of Mosul. Their snipers, positioned at the entrance of Iraq's northern city. This is a front line. Just 500 meters away are the Kurdish Peshmerga forces. They have been fortifying their defenses days after a suicide bombing targeted their forces at this crossing. On June 26, the Islamic State sent a suicide bomber in a truck, and he blew himself up close to the checkpoint. That is why we are beefing up security. The autonomous Kurdish region in the north hasn't been affected by the fighting between the Iraqi government and the Sunni groups. But authorities here say they are facing a threat. They tightened controls and imposed new restrictions at all crossing points. At the start of the crisis, hundreds of thousands of people fled Mosul to Erbil. They were able to use cars, but things have changed. They can only enter by foot, and only a handful of people are arriving. That is because the Kurdish security forces have new security measures in place. <laughs> And while those measures might make life more difficult for many Iraqis who are searching for security, Kurdish officials insist they are needed to preserve stability in their region. The Islamic State is planning to control the whole of Iraq and they will impose their own rules on the people of Iraq. They don't respect human rights, so we are ready to spill our blood along the front line to protect our children and women. The Peshmerga share a 1,000-kilometer-long border with the Sunni militia group, and both groups have engaged in clashes in some areas over the past few weeks. The Kurds have so far been able to hold their lines, but the presence of American military advisors in this region underscores how seriously they regard the threat. Zanahudar al-Jazeera, Northern Iraq.